Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, I'm your humble host, Jazz Morganzo, and this is a special. Uh, what's next? The reason why it's calling it uh, special is because our old friend, the little bartender that could or that tried, our own Sandy Cortez, is back in the news again. When has she ever truly left? gotta think about it but let me set this up for you of course uh let's go back to january 6th the incident uh, that occurred at the capitol and of course the aftermath that ensued <clears throat> you had uh, sandy cortez running around saying i fear for my life you know i fear for my life i was Worried that I was going to get hurt and or possibly killed during this incident. Well, turns out our little bartender pulled a juicy smolet, as one Dave Chappelle <clears throat> would say. And uh, let's take a look at the nonsense. AOC, she lied about her near-death experience congresswoman alexandra asazio cortez or like i said the little bartender was caught in a flat out lie about her experiences during the capitol incident on january 6th <clears throat> excuse me cortez has gone into great detail i will not reference her as the three-letter moniker because yeah no has gone into great detail about her experience during the riot, making it sound as though as she had first-hand encounters with uh, the knuckleheads, the crazies, who broke into the Capitol building, turned out to be false. Oh my, who didn't see this coming? Of course, she went into great length uh, on her Instagram videos, uh, you know, because, of course, everybody under uh, 20 is uh, pretty much going to be hanging out there. Anybody over the age of 35 with actually a brain in their head, critical thinking, common sense, is going to look at her and laugh. I do every day. I get a chuckle every day. So... She shot, our, shot her mouth off in regards to this incident triggering PTSD. Yes. PTSD. This is what soldiers have experienced. Police have experienced. Those men and women outside of the uniform have gone through dramatic experiences, childbirth, car accidents, what have you. Even true sexual, true sexual abuse experiences. Now, she used this to say this triggered her past experience of sexual assault, which left her traumatized. Now, whether this truly occurred to her when she was younger, that I don't know if it did. I'm sorry that it did. But if she used this incident, January 6th, as a catalyst to throw the sexual assault into this cake batter mix and try to stir it up to make her more appealing, to make her more... Uh, genuine sincere that is an insult to so many women out there who've actually have gone through these experiences have gone through sexual abuse experiences um sexual you know uh by uh, these domestic abuse cases you know and or rapes so to me uh if she did that then Shame on you, Sandy. Shame on you because that's very stupid and ignorant to do. But 
in relation to this situation, uh, she says she hid by, in a nearby bathroom. Cap police police officer came into the bathroom inside her, inside her office, instructed her to evacuate. Uh, um, the congresswoman said neither she nor her legislative director trusted the officer. Said the cop was looking at her with all this anger and hostility and, and, and you know, at first in my brain, you gotta have one. You gotta have one to actually look into, but it's another story for another day. Uh, projecting, sensing anger, explained her in her little Instagram rant. Okay, I'm not going to play any clips because uh, I think uh, this would insult uh, this would insult you. Uh, to me, it would just be like nails on a blackboard. But it turns out that we have eyewitnesses to the contrary. One freshman congresswoman, Nancy Mace, has an office two doors down from Cortez. She said, quote, no knuckleheads ever stormed the hallway. She said, Cortez made clear she didn't know who was at her door. Breathless attempts by media to fan fictitious news flames are dangerous. This is on her Twitter account. And by the way, this story comes from Town Hall. Sorry, I did not mention in the beginning, this story comes from Town Hall. My office is two, door, two doors down. Knuckleheads never stormed the hallway. Egregious doesn't even begin to cover it. Is there nothing the left-wing media will not politicize? No, they will not. Anything's up for grabs. Everything's on the table. doesn't matter who. They will throw your mother down the steps to make sure that, hey, you know what? That was your fault. Because you're a conservative, because you're a libertarian, because you're a free thinker, I don't know, uh, and also makes you racist. So, of course, Sandy took to social media to claim that, quote, white wingers are manipulating the narrative because they don't know the layout of the Capitol complex. And, of course, Sandy does. She does. She knows every square inch of that Capitol building. <clears throat> She was there, she which because she was there, she looked over the plans, she looked at the blueprints, she knows every square inch of that building. I had to do my Robert Downey Jr. moment. Yeah, anyway. This is her quote on her Twitter. This is the latest manipulative take on the right. They are manipulating the fact that most people don't know the layout of the Capitol complex. We're all, we were all in the Capitol complex. The attack was just going on in the dome. The bombs that Trump supporters planted surrounding all offices too, which of course absolutely were false. There was nothing there. There was only one, there was only one pipe bomb that was actually planted and that was planted in both the DNC headquarters and the RNC headquarters that day. Of course, Jasper Sobic uh, was in the Capitol building during her, quote, near-death experience, which was absolutely true because there are multiple eyewitnesses, not just the freshman congresswoman uh, who I aforementioned. Of course, she's blaming the Republican Party, blah, 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 blah. So. This is where we're at. This is where we're at. The fact of the matter is, is that you got the little bartender who two plus years ago was mixing drinks like she was at Cheers all of a sudden now, she's the greatest thing since sliced bread. And the sad thing is, is that there are those who actually believe her. She's been caught in a lie by multiple sources who have done in the investigation in regards to this over the last 24 to 48 hours. 
She did a juicy. She did a juicy smole. And she got busted for it. So instead of just saying, yeah, my bad, mea culpa, really it doesn't matter at this point because the left will sop this up as truth, as their truth, not the real truth, their truth. But those of us in the know know that it was all bullshit. And with that being said, I'm Jess Brogonzo. This is what's next. Ugh, you gotta love the little bartender. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.